Good morning, everyone. Just want to remind you of a woman who, because of five failed marriages, tried to hide her shame by going to draw water from the well alone. She wanted to hide from the comments, from the whispers, from the condemning looks. Most powerful man in Israel abused his power and was slept with another man's wife. He tried to cover this up. He tried to hide his shame behind murderous behaviour. A woman who had a hemorrhage of bleeding for 12 years, considered unclean, people did not want to be around her. She tried to hide in an anonymity, in secrecy, and crept up behind Jesus to touch the hem of his garments. You know, these are just some stories of people, scripturally in the Bible, who tried to hide their shame in the wrong places. And yet so many, of even God's people, carry shame, trying to hide it in the wrong places, trying to cover it up in the wrong place. Adam and Eve, they experienced the shame of sin. And they tried to hide from God and hide from each other. They became vulnerable to Satan's attack and condemnation. They found themselves under God's righteous judgment for sin and disobedience. You know, all of these people hid their shame in the wrong places. And we can hide our shame in our homes, in our rooms. We hide our shame sometimes even in alcohol, in housework, in, in, the, in the shed. We can hide our shame behind computers and phones, behind binge watching on Netflix or TV, television. We hide our, our shame perhaps behind fashion and, and Facebook and we hide our shame in busyness and procrastination. We can sometimes hide our shame behind humor. You know, there is a key to breaking the power of shame. There is a key that sets us free. And that place, that key, is Jesus Christ. There is no other place to take our shame. There is no other one that we can hide in than Jesus Christ. Jesus' death and resurrection is the, only, is the only remedy for the shame we feel over our grievous sinful behaviour and feelings. There is nowhere else we can go with our sin other than Jesus Christ who made atonement, who rose again to give victory over sin, to enable a complete cleansing from our sin. And when we come to God, when we bring and lay our shame before him and the grace of God, the promises of God become yes and amen in Jesus Christ. His grace, his all-sufficient, abounding, providing grace sets us free from sin, from shame, from weakness, from failures. Just bring your shame to God. Stop hiding. Stop covering up. What God already knows. God bless you.